or in the West Loop today, one of the most common conversations you're hearing nowadays is the cost of everything. I don't care if it's steak, I don't care if it's fuel, even housing, everything is going through the roof. With that, today, we have a two bath, one and a half bath in the West Loop for 400 grand. Okay, it's hard to pick anything up at that price and you can do it in one of the best neighborhoods in Chicago. We're less than a block from the park, we're close to downtown, close to the train, close to everything that the West Loop is known for. Randolph's right down the street, you have Treasure Island right over here, which is a island, no, Greek Isles, which is right over here, Treasure Island don't exist anymore, and the dog park. So no matter what your lifestyle is, if you're looking for something in the West Loop to own, and you're really gonna like this too, the owner did such a fantastic job decorating the property, finishing it up, and now they're ready to move to something a little bigger because they've outgrown this space. But I know there's someone out there just like you who wants the first space, but doesn't want to do all the work. And this is a unit where you can just move it. It's completely turnkey, ready to go. No problem with any of the design decisions, dealing with contractors, all the headaches that go with it. And right now, it's so expensive to do because it costs the lumber, copper, everything else. So let's go take a look at this right here. It is really nice to be able to go into someone else's home and not make a lot of these design decisions. They've already done the work, they've already turned it over, they've already made them for you so you don't have to deal with the contractors or any of the issues. I really like that they pet here, which gives you a great place for storage underneath, but then it gives you a place where you can actually dine and hang out. But you still get the utilization that you have from the peninsula. So they had a great backsplash here. I'm gonna show you some other stuff in the back, but one of the things that they used is they put a great piece of marble right here on the fireplace to really set it off and make it stand apart. I think there's a really good job with the paint here as well. You'll notice we have the blue cabinets on the bottom, and then we have the blue accent wall over here. So with the gold hardware, it's really setting everything off, and then you have the backsplash tying it all together as well. Right here, we have the washer and dryer, very straightforward away from the sleeping area so you're not getting the noise radiating to the back. And then you have a hall closet for you know coats, all that kind of stuff. And then you have your guest bath on this side, which is really nice. You always want a powder room just for your guests. If you come in, you can notice the great tile pattern that she has going on here. Nice marble countertop. You might have seen that right in the front, right? And it ties together really well with the blue here. And then you have the copperish mirror on the back really think this sets the stage for everything that's happening here. And then you have the Peloton room, the second bedroom. What's nice is they did a day bed here. So you can actually relax, use this as you want. You have window bringing in a lot of light, and then you have some nice big closets here. And what I like too, is we're looking at really good ceiling heights. So if we come into this closet, you'll see how high we are here, but you can really notice it because most closets you'd be done, right? But you get the extra storage up above. And in this unit, we're looking at 910 on ceiling height. So your average condo is nine feet. If you're closer to the lake, it's eight feet. So arguably you're gaining about two extra feet than you're used to finding. And that leads us right to this. So some people have an idea in their head. They try to execute and it doesn't work. That's not what happened here. Green cabinets, hexagon porcelain floor, beautiful tile. It's the same subway tile that was used uh, in the backsplash. And then all color fixtures, hand shower, overhead and this really stands out and you know this is real stuff this is not cheap materials it's all color all top of the line and a deep deep soaking tub and i love these because you know if you have this the water is just going to go down but it allows for easy access to get in and out when you have this hinge just like this and then you have a ton of storage right up here and it's open easy to grab i like the black framed window and they're tying in the different type of metals in this bathroom right here, right here, right here, and it's all working all together. These aren't just wood floors either. Let's go for a little better lighting area. So if you come here, you can see this is a white oak riff floor. 
It's very expensive to do these nowadays. Rarely do people do. But if you notice all these designs in the wood, that's what I'm talking about. This is called a rift cut. And with that, you just get better patterns, better grain than you would normally get with a typical red oak. So we're in the primary suite here. For size, we're looking at, so this, these are the smallest dimensions this room will have. Yep. But then we're gonna replace that 9.3 with this number here, and then we're gonna go. So true dimensions of this room are basically 13 by 11. And then everyone needs an outdoor space. So this section is yours. You get the whole length of the unit. It is a pass through through other units, but it's private to you. You can see they've had great patio furniture. So come and see this great unit, 838 West Adams in the West Loop. Can't wait to show it to you. I was just walking out and I was thinking about how small and intimate this building is and how you don't want to be in high rises, you don't want to be in a mid rise, you want a small intimate place with few neighbors, more of a boutique feeling, no waiting, no noise, you only have three other neighbors here. So think about that if you're thinking about 838 West Adams.